Okay, so the next feature we're going to take a look at is scheduling. What scheduling allows us to do is it allows us to place schedules to events, which means that they will only be triggered at certain times of the day. So we go ahead and open up the Build tab. You'll see that there's a new button there called Schedules. I'm going to go ahead and select it and then select New, which will present us with the scheduler interface. I'm going to give my schedule a name. I'm going to call it Lunchtime. And I'm going to give it a descriptive description called Work Week Lunchtime. You'll see that the calendar interface below has four options. You can view it by day, by week, by work week, or you can view the full month. We're going to go ahead and choose work week because my schedule relies on a work week. And I'm going to go ahead and add some information to the schedule. I want the schedule to apply only at lunchtime. So I'm going to go ahead and choose lunchtime on the first day, which is 12 until 1. So I click and I drag. And then I go ahead and select the green button up at the top here. And you can see that that is now blocked out and says lunchtime. I'm going to do the same for Tuesday. And the same for Wednesday. And Thursday. And also Friday. If I've made an error at this stage, I can always go back and fix it. So say for example I didn't want this to apply on a Wednesday, I could check this and then select the red button which will remove it. So now we have our schedule configured, I'm going to go ahead and save and close that. Once the schedule has been configured, I need to assign it to an event. So we're going to go back up to this build tab and we're going to look at event and schedule setup. This will open this editor which just allows us to assign alerts and actions to devices. I'm going to drag in one of my devices, which I know has some events configured. And what we're going to do is we're going to assign the schedule we've just created to this motion detection alert at the bottom. So we zoom in a little to the action node. Select this button. You'll see that all schedules that are created on my system are listed in this list. I'm going to check the one we've just created, which is the lunchtime schedule. And you'll now notice that a drop down appears. The drop down allows me to select a time zone, so I'm going to go ahead and choose my time zone. And then apply schedule. And if we zoom in again, you'll see that that schedule has now been applied to that event.